Here's our first question, Jim. It's from Tony in Bucksnort. And I think that's Tennessee, right? Bucksnort, Tennessee. But yeah, it's the only one I'm aware of. Yeah. A- exit 152 on I-40. You've recently spoken a lot about Tim Horner and what it was like working with him. What was the stupidest thing that you ever experienced Tim Horner say or do? Oh, my God. And, so, <laughs> you know, and and – this was that actually controversy started here on the drive through. I didn't mean to go into such tremendous detail, but you had asked me the question one day because people have been starting to wonder why the fuck with all the, the only other talent, the one who stood out in, in Smoky Mountain Wrestling as boring was Tim Horner. Why was Tim Horner involved, et cetera, et cetera. But I, I told a story about how I, I had basically smartened him up to my plans for Smoky Mountain Wrestling because he had a guy in Knoxville that was going to invest like $40,000 or whatever it was in wrestling. And he was going to run. And I said, you know, I did. anyway, I felt bad. I didn't even come in and think I was coming in and stealing his idea. I didn't want to be the heel. You know how I am, Brian. I, I, I take more than I should because that way I feel like I'm not the heel. Anyway. So Tim became part of the office along with Sandy Scott and myself and you know, it, it it was like being around a small child in that when Sandy and I got fax machines because I needed one to send reports back and forth to California to Rick Rubin's office and Sandy needed one to send paperwork to athletic commissions and, and buildings <clears throat> that we were going to be running show building contracts, etc. Why didn't I get a fax machine? You know, like, oh, fuck. Why didn't I get a second scoop of ice cream? So at one of the things early on, was when we had shot our our pilot episodes and had put the first few TVs together and finally got to clearance in Knoxville. And we were going to debut in <laughs> what I believe was the first or second week of February in 1992 on Fox 43 in Knoxville on Sunday morning. And we actually, Sandy and, and Horner were both over at my house in my office having a meeting, and I said, Boy, I hope because, you know, we we had been talking about the fact that if the ratings were good, which we hoped they would be. And eventually we found out they were very good for the whole time. But the TV studio station never reduced our rate. But at the time we were saying, if we do good ratings, maybe we can get a better rate, blah, blah, blah. And I made the comment. And this is the punchline to this whole story. I made the comment. Well, I hope that every television in Knoxville Sunday morning is tuned to Fox 43, right? And Horner sat there for a second. (laughs) And then he said, you know what I ought to do? I ought to go down to the, to the appliance store. I can't remember the name of the place where they are all the TVs on display, right? That equivalent of Best Buy. And I ought to turn all the TVs to channel 43, and Sandy and I looked at him, <laughs> waiting for him to laugh, right? And he didn't. And then he saw us waiting for him to laugh, and then he kind of giggled, but he still hadn't figured out for a second. And then it wasn't until I had got the the first half of the sentence, Tim. It doesn't work that way. It has to be a, bo- a family or a, a set with a box or a recording device from Neil's. Then he realized what the fuck he had just said. This is the guy that wanted to be partners in his regional wrestling promotion. And he thought you could bump up the TV ratings by going down to fucking Best Buy and turning all the fucking display TVs on the station that's showing your wrestling program. <laughs> it would have been great publicity when they caught him doing that and kicked him out of the store. <laughs> oh, yes. <yeah. laughs> There's some guy turning all the TV channels to wrestling. Local pro wrestler trying to fix fucking TV ratings. <laughs> is TV phony? It would have been great if it happened while he was being hanged by the dirty white boy. And there was a picture of him being arrested while he's being yes. hanged on TV. <laughs> he was handcuffed in both instances. Uh, but anyway, but that's, that would be the answer to that question. Thank you, Buck Snort, for your, uh, for your question.